Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast, your go-to source for personal, professional, and organizational growth and development. We hope you tune in often for all things people management, organizational development and change, organizational leadership, and social impact related. Maximize your personal and organizational potential with Human Capital Innovations Podcast. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. In this HCI Inc. Insights podcast episode, I explore Simon Sinek's recent Inc. video, Want to Become a Great Leader? Act like a student, not an expert. Welcome back to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I'm excited to talk with you again today uh, in this Inc. Insights podcast episode. Today I'll be exploring Simon Sinek's recent Inc.com video, Want to Become a Great Leader, Act Like a Student, Not an Expert. Simon Sinek, best-selling author of Start With Why, explains that leadership isn't a rank you achieve. It's a skill you need to practice your entire life. This one is super short. So I'm going to play the audio in its entirety and then we'll talk about it on the flip side. So what's the difference between a good leader and a great leader? Leadership is a skill, a learnable, practicable skill, and the best leaders don't consider themselves experts, they consider themselves students. Now they may be more advanced students, but they're students nonetheless. Anyone who considers themselves an expert, do not trust them, run in the other direction. So a good leader is someone who's practicing and learning the skills of leadership and starting to implement them around them. A great leader is somebody who's well-practiced and really understands the importance of prioritizing the needs of the people, sometimes before our own needs. They see themselves as the caregiver of their people. They, we call them leader, not because they're in charge. We call them leader because they're the ones willing to run headfirst into the unknown or into the dangerous. They're willing to risk their own resources to protect and grow their people. So great leaders are the ones who consider themselves students regardless of their status. I've met some really, really senior, really, really remarkable people, and all they want to do is read about leadership, talk about leadership, watch interviews about leadership. They are they have an insatiable curiosity to continually improve their leadership skills. In other words, they understand it's not some rank they've achieved, but rather it's a skill they need to perfect for the rest of their lives, like being a parent. You'll never be an expert parent, but you'll keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and hopefully you'll get it right someday. Again, a very short and sweet little video clip from Simon Sinek about the importance of lifelong learning, that we need to be a student, we need to have humility around our position. And when we're in roles of leadership with others, uh, particularly formal roles where we're in the hierarchy and people are reporting to us, it's very tempting to allow our ego to take over and to think we somehow are above or better than those people below us. And it's very easy for us to start to think that we are there because of all of our successes and so everyone should do what we say. It's very easy to fall into the trap of thinking we are the experts and we have answers for everyone else who reports to us. The reality is great leaders don't do any of those things. Great leaders have skills that they've developed over time that they've practiced, that they've grown into, um, and they have the capabilities to be able to uh, connect with their people, to create environments of inclusion and belonging, uh, empowerment, where people feel like they have the support they need to do their best work each and every day, where they know that they can try to innovate. And if they fail, that as long as they take an inter iterative approach to their learning, that their leader, leader will be right there beside them, learning along with them and supporting them. It means that there's a leader knowing that they have the resources and it's their job to clear away the obstacles for their people, to utilize their political capital to help their people achieve, to not be stingy with the resources that they have. And when I see great leaders, that's exactly what they do. And unfortunately, a lot of times I see 
leaders, though, that are driven by ego. They're, they hoard information. They hoard resources because they want tight control, and then they dole it out as rewards to people who do what they want them to do. Uh, that's not really leadership. That's kind of a perverse form of management. And frankly, uh, it's manipulative, and you're not going to get the best out of your people that way. In fact, you're going to churn through people that way, and your best people aren't going to put up with it. They're simply going to leave leave the company, leave the, the team. So great leaders, though, they, they know that they've never arrived. They, they don't get caught up in what they've already accomplished. And chances are they've accomplished many great things, uh, but they don't get caught up in that. They know that they still need to stretch. They still need to grow. And one of the best ways for them to accomplish greatness as leaders is not through their own efforts, their own work, but through empowering and lifting and supporting the people around them, supporting the people that report to them, that together as a team, they will lift where they stand, that they will give everyone a chance to be successful and to maximize their potential. Again, a, a fairly simple uh, approach, a fairly simple and straightforward um, principle, but it does require a mindset shift for a lot of people. Um, in my experience, most leaders don't exhibit this kind of humility. Most leaders aren't continually challenging their own thinking and continually pushing themselves to learn and grow. And they certainly aren't constantly thinking about themselves in terms of how they are helping their people. But essentially, that is the mark of a truly remarkable leader. And it's something I want to strive to be in my own leadership in my own interactions, both with my family, my friends, my neighbors, but also in the workplace and with those uh, employees that I interact with. I hope you enjoyed this brief clip and a little bit of discussion around it. As always, I hope you stay healthy and safe, that you can find meaning and purpose at work each and every day, and I hope you have a great week. We are excited about the launch of HCI's new magazine, Human Capital Leadership. Human Capital Leadership is a free interactive e-magazine designed to help individuals, leaders, and organizations find innovative approaches to maximize their human capital potential. We will be publishing issues quarterly in August, November, February, and May. Check out the first issue and let us know what you think. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe and that you have a great week.